Hi, and welcome back to C Programming Skills using Replit. I'm Norman McIntyre. Let's get started. Here we're going to look at printf, print formatted. This is an introduction. We've used it a little bit. Here we'll learn more about it. So here we have our default project when we create a project in REPL for the C language. We have our default project. And our focus here is on printf. Printf for print formatted. Now we see right now the default, it says hello world with a backslash n. Backslash n is new line character. And in fact, we can see the output here. Now, suppose I remove the new line character and click on run. Notice our prompt is at the end of the output here. In other words, we did not have a new line. So the purpose of the new line, in fact, let's put maybe three of them. Every time it sees a new line, a backslash n, it goes to the next line. In fact, now when we run it, notice it went to this line, this line, and this line. So we put three new lines there. And we can go back, put it how it originally was, just the single new line. We could even do this. We could say hello. So put that on one line and then print Let's do a print formatted uh, world and semicolon. And then let's do a printf. How about just a backslash n? So here we broke up. We have three print formatted. And when we run it, of course, the output looks the same because here it puts out the first. And then, then it adds this to it. Notice we've got a space, in fact, here inside this was called a string. So inside the double quotes, and notice we are using double quotes to, to enclose this string. And then we have the backslash in. Now, we could do it like this. We could say printf, uh, how about backslash in here, backslash in, we backslash in, go, backslash in. So doing the, the new line, oops, hey, we know how to solve this, it says line, the file is main.c, line number eight, so I go to line number eight, it says implicit declaration of function printf, aha, well, see, this is the type of error you'll have as you're writing your code, I typed print, or actually I typed pref, <laughs> I left out my t, so it gave us the warning, and we also got the linker error. So notice it says, here we go. So we've got all that. Now, we talked earlier, we, had, we talked about the preprocessor, and so maybe I could define, how about something called number 42? And suppose I want to print out something like this. Suppose I want to print F, say number is... And I'd like to put whatever this value is, whatever this number. Well, the way we do that is a special syntax. We say percent. So percent is the placeholder. And then we say what it is we want to put in there. Well, we want to put a percent i. i stands for integer. This is an integer number, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 42. Those are integer numbers. And then I'll say backslash n. So that gives me a placeholder for where I want to substitute that in. But then we'll put a comma and give it what is it we want to put there. We want to put number. And we know from our previous video talking about the preprocessor, anywhere it sees this, it'll substitute this in there. And the new information here is that we are we have a placeholder in our printf so where it can can fill that in so i'll click on run and notice sure enough it says the number is 42 let's do this how about we say define num1 is 10 and define num2 is 20 now remember don't put semicolons at the end of this and then we could say printf num, or let's say 
percent i plus percent i equals percent i backslash n. Wow. Well, this is a placeholder for an integer. This is a placeholder for an integer. This is a placeholder for an integer. And then we need to give it those three things. Well, we want num1. We want num2. And how can we get, how can we add those two? Well, we can do num1 plus num2. Let me adjust this just a little bit. And, of course, our semicolon at the end. Remember, the semicolon says you're at the end of this executable statement. If I don't put the semicolon there, remember, I'll get my syntax error. It says, hey, I expected you to put a semicolon there. All right, we will. So the print formatted, one of the things we can do is give a placeholder, and it will then fill that in for us. So it says, well, okay, for this placeholder, I'm going to put an integer, this one here. For this placeholder... I'm going to put this integer here, and then for this placeholder, I'm going to put this integer here. Notice we've actually added these two numbers. We'll talk much more in a later video how you can add, subtract, and so forth with numbers. Um, but here's our first look at that. So the computer, the compiler is going through and um, adding these together in this case and putting the result here. And of course, you can see that it appears. Now, it turns out there's many, many different ways you can format. There's all kinds of different letters you can put here and have it uh, formatted. Um, but for right now, I would say one of the most common is to format a integer value. Maybe another very common one. Let's do a define, oh, how about let's call this message. We'll say hello world is our message. And we could say, we'll put this one as our last demonstration. We could say print f percent s. Now percent s stands for string. So let's go look for a string. And remember, a string is anything that has two double the double quotes around each end. So hello world is a string. So we're going to say put a string there, backslash n. We needs to see the string. Well, that's going to be called message. So we're going to say put our message right there. That maybe we should say instead of hello world, let's say all done. All right, this will be our message here at the end. And we click on run. And of course it says all done. Now again, this is just our first look at using this print formatted. You can print hard-coded strings. You can put strings with a placeholder, like we see here. Percent %s is a placeholder for a string, and it'll substitute that string in there. That maybe we could say message. And right, it will just copy this right out. But when it sees the percent %s, it's going to grab that and put it in the place there. So I'll click on Run, and we see, hey, we've got got the message is all done and again the percent i is for integer a placeholder for the integer so once again just a reminder make sure you type this in run it just like i'm doing here so you'll gain that hands-on experience so thank you again for making it through yet another video there's more to come in the next video i'll see you there i'm norman mcintyre thanks as always for watching.